Being able to play all the way through the table of time is definitely great, but there is way more you should get out of it than just that. Last time we were talking about and practicing all the neighboring subdivisions, so we get very comfortable with it. Today, we're going to take a look a little further. In order to be able to use any of this musically, we have to get very comfortable with each subdivision against time, regardless what comes before or after. We will start with quarter notes and we will pair them up with every other possible subdivision to get used to bigger jumps in tempo. Then we're going to do the same with eighth notes. 